love e-learning. I started in e-learning uh, 20 years ago. My friend Mary Zom, who teaches psychology, she and I got together. She, we did an email class. I was an adjunct professor at the University of Rhode Island when they started teaching by email in 1996. So I was one of the first ones who did that and in fact presented a paper at the Eastern Psychological Association in 1997 about teaching on email and nobody could believe it. In 1997 when they started at BCC I was dying to go. BCC was one of the first in this area at least that offered um, interactive television and where we could have a classroom on both ends. The college had committed itself to giving this a try and my dean had asked me to, if I would like to get involved. It sounded exciting, and I said yes, and I got chosen to do the first course. I did a course in the fall of 1997, and then the one in the spring of 98. It's a good way to get to students. They love it. There's a lot of students who can't come to five classes or four every semester. Maybe they're working full time, or they have babies at home and it gives an opportunity for them to go to school. I wish when I was younger and at home with kids that that opportunity was available to me. I like it because I think it's more active learning. Instead of listening to what the professor tells, they read the book, they actually think about what was said for a week and then they respond to essays and discussions or workbook assignments thoughtfully. You've always got that student in there who takes notes like crazy, but is so quiet and withdrawn that they don't want to talk in class. In the online space, they talk sometimes like crazy. I've had many students, especially those with disabilities, tell me that it was such a rewarding experience for them to be able to think about what to say in a discussion publicly and then post something that they were proud of, whereas they wouldn't speak up in a class. I think the future's bright as long as we're willing to grab it. There are so many more opportunities to put stuff out there to students, and it wasn't that way back then. I think that in the future, we'll be seeing more degrees offered as online-only options. I think that gives people an opportunity to get an education, get advance their careers, um, especially you know the people that are already working in the field or want to be in the field and have a lower-level job. They want to work their way up. So I think we'll see more of it. Mm -hmm.